let's start off with a new project. I'm just going to create a console application. Now it's good sense to have a separate unit for your business logic, so we're going to go and create a new unit. And in here we're going to have a new type called tfoo. And tfoo is going to have a property which is A, and we're going to have a property B. I'm just going to press Control Shift C to code complete. And we've now got our first part of our class written. It's quite okay right at the moment because we know what A and B is going to be for. But when we return to this a little bit later, or we've got another member of the team looking at our code, we want to make it easy for them to understand what our properties are for, how they're going to be used, and so on. So a really handy way to do that is with documentation. Delphi developers and C++ developers have been used to Code Insight for a long time that tells you what the function is, what the parameters are, and what can be passed through. Well, it's really taken on to the next level now. So if we go to Tools, Documentation, Insight, Show Documentation, we get a window up that allows us to start documenting. And we can see here, this is for the tfoo B property, which is where we're sat. So to make it easy to type this in, this is actually dockable, so let's just drag it across to the left. And if we use the push pin here to pin it out, we can now click on tfoo as a class, and we can leave a message here about the class. This is our base class for all tfoo objects. And we can put a message here about tfoo stores two strings in the same object. So we now got our summary and some remarks. Let's go and have a look to see what they actually look like when we reference them using Code Insight. So let's create initially, let's create a local variable here and we'll call this foo which is of type tfoo. And here if we say foo equals tfoo and using documentation insight here we can see that this is tfoo stores two strings in the same object and this is our base class for all tfoo objects and if we now go to foo.a we can see that it's a system.string that's come in by default however if we want to go and put in here uh, a public constructor and in here let's say a equals hello and b equals world. If we go up to the initial properties, we can say here default equals hello, uh, default equals world. We can put a remark, so let's go. You can change the value, but make sure you put something sensible with it. So here we've got a really easy to find remark. We've got a default value note that's there. And we can see here we've got uh, all the comments working through. So if we now go back here, we can see that underneath A, it comes up telling us what the default is. Let's have a look at B. We can see now here we've got the, the value comments but also the remarks. Now if we wanted to overwrite the b hyphen system dot string then we can do that with adding a summary in. So if we come here and put in a summary by default this string is world we can see lifetime here that it will overwrite that top part to whatever we've put into the documentation. Personally I quite like leaving the, uh, the summary to show us what the system types are because um, that's quite handy, um, but using the, the property value and the remarks to give us an enriched amount of data as we're working with our objects. So let's add a new type in here. Let's do tfoo plus, which is a class of tfoo. And let's have a public constructor, constructor create, and let's add into this a property of combined which we'll do read get combined and we need to make that a string we'll say here the result equals a plus b 
But actually what would be quite good as well is to just have property delimiter. We can have this as a char and control shift C again to code complete. And in the constructor, let's put the delimiter to let's make that a space. So now we have our A plus delimiter plus B. So we're going to have hello world with a space in between. It might be a good idea to add some documentation for the delimiter. Default equals space. And we can add some comments here for returns back A plus delimiter plus, plus B. So if we now go and have a look through here and make this a tfue plus. So if we have a look now we can see that we've got our combined and that provides us back the information about what it is and what's going on in there.